Ask us questions. We're ready for your questions. All right. Hi, we're here at 30 Rock. Uh, welcome you to Sci-Fi's Countdown to Christmas. Countdown to Christmas. Your pen over here to show the spirit of trust that NBC leaves the keys in the file cabinet. That's right, because over here it's nothing but trust and the Christmas spirit. It's true. Ho, ho, ho. Evening, Sheriff. Cold enough for you? Yeah, exactly. The holidays should be. Jingle, jingle. <laughs> Oh, yes. It was great. Uh, we worked with uh, Chris for um, the Christmas episode that we did this year. It was awesome. Hold it right there. What do you think you're doing? Hey, Joe. I'm just taking my experiment home. I'm not saying he's Santa. But I'm not not saying it, either. What do you think about that? <laughs> okay. Gather around. You can hear all about uh, it. Do we have to? Sure, if says yes. We've been blessed with some really nice guest stars this year. Sort of, uh, I mean, God bless the recession, right? Um, like, we got Dave Foley. We got, you know, Felicia Day. We got Will Wheaton. We got Chris Parnell. So we, got, we have a fantastic group of people coming in. <laughs> What about your Christmas episode? Well, what I want to know is why are you crediting the recession with why you have all these wonderful people on your show? Everyone needs money. Times are tough. All right. Very Gotta pay well. your rent, every <laughs> world. Come on. I hear Philadelphia is beautiful this time of year. So, as it turns out, calling 486 piano tuners, it turns out it's harder to split three ways when only one of you can pronounce glucky, um, globin killer. Glucidia. Yes. Well, first of all, I mean, you want to know what it was like filming a Christmas episode in Toronto in July? Um, not very Christmassy, but no, it was it was awesome. I, I think I'm actually Toronto and Christmas, not very Christmassy. Oh, that's not what I mean, Colin. That's, what she means. that's not what I mean. I love Canadian Toronto. Canadian. Stop spreading lies about me. I will take you away from the microphone. So, guys, this is the first time in ever I actually have people in my life to spend the holidays with. I figured we'd circle the Yule log and eat figgy pudding. That's oh. awkward. No, I had a great time shooting the the, uh, the Christmas episode. It was just around 95 degrees. So at one point, I you know I, I ditched all seven sweaters they had me dressed in and my big thick boots and walked barefoot from uh, from the set to base camp, uh, which didn't deliver a, a lot of relief since the pavement was also 100 degrees. Claude, so what's with the twinkle lights? God bless us, everyone. But whatever. Um, we have the hilarious Judd Hirsch as. Artie's father. Really? Oh, yeah. You want to buy this piano? Why? You're Artie's father. What? Oh, I forgot I had these in. <laughs> Hearing the little bastards bang out Moonlight Sonata, the one that Beethoven went deaf. Best Christmas present ever. It was a treat. It was, it was really kind of awesome to see those two embrace in the episode. Uh. And it was the, you know, it was the last episode uh, that we shot in our, in our order. And, and there was something very, um, very special about ending our season two run, you know, around a table with a bunch of food and, and really just being the family that we are. So I'm excited about it. Next question. Can I help you? Mr. Claus, I presume? Season's greetings, my Taggart returns to the holiday episode, and I'm not saying he's Santa. <laughs> I'm not saying he's not. On pioneering the field of Scientology. That's not a science. It will be. What about flying reindeer? <laughs> Holographic. <laughs> Misbehaving currently. He's actually been doing a lot of research into Scientology, which is a mythical science, which uh, involves the uh, science of Santa, what, would it, what it would involve, how would you get a reindeer to fly, how would a sled fly, all that jazz. So um, he appears as a moving violation uh, in the beginning of the episode, and uh, I don't know. Hilarity, hilarity ensues. Oh, oh, and Warehouse too. We, yeah, we Did have it. lots of hilarity in the Warehouse too. Oh, look, Santa's little army. Aren't they cute? Ooh. Right. Not cracker. You know what? There's also there's actually a Eureka Easter egg in uh, in the warehouse Christmas episode. At Christmas Easter eggs, very inappropriate. Right? It's iffy. 
Um, pay attention to. I, this is this is gonna sound weird. Pay attention to the same time. Stop it! Time's exploding. Claudia's shirt in the first half of the, half of the episode Stop is Eureka related. I like to think it was a Christmas present from Fargo. That ring you have can it amplify anything other than human energy? Like for instance? For instance, a laser. Marry me. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> <It's really good. laughs> Have a very twisted Christmas from Colin Ferguson and Allison Scalioni.